everybody. Welcome back to EA Sports. It is the start of the Stanley Cup playoffs. NHL action. Let's drop the puck. Yeah, you can just feel the buzz in this city all day long. And we are seconds away now for this opening face-off. A critical game for both sides here, and we are underway. Toledo's got the puck along the wall. Quick feed to Pilon. The Wings gain possession of the puck here in the offensive end. And that shot gets caught in traffic. Scoops up the puck in front of the net, trying to clear the zone. Krapovesis takes it into the offensive zone. The pass in front! And he elects not to shoot and will hang on to the puck. Blocked in traffic. And he takes the dish. Halo's got the puck. And now it's grabbed by Redikoff. He carries the puck up along the wing. Takes the puck into the corner of the offensive end. Kalamazoo's gained possession along the boards. Pittner's got the puck and he's gonna hang on. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. The game is still scoreless. Oh, and he takes possession of the puck. Scores! And that's his first career playoff goal, and he'll take it. Uh, he will, James, because the playoffs is just a different beast. It's not regular season anymore. You want to be an impact player. You want to make a difference, and he does tonight. Now your opponent's chasing the game. When you get the first goal of a playoff series, you're starting it off sending a clear message that you want it. Kalamazoo's come to play tonight. They've been very aggressive to start, and as a result, Cheryl, they got the lead. Typically, the home team has the advantage, James, so when the away team comes into the barn, they want to make sure that they're not flat-footed, that they're urgent, they're aggressive. And to start this period, to start the game, they've been ready right from the hop, and they're rewarded with the goal. Too many bodies in the way. Up along the wing. The Walleye have control of the puck. And he takes the feed. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Center capital, and that's stopped. The Wings move the puck in the defensive zone. And that's broken up. Through center along the wing. And he takes the pass. Kalamazoo's got the puck. Fires it into the offensive zone. Feeds it to Donomi. And now he passes it to McCork. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Handles the pass. Moves behind the net. Handles it along the blue line. Way too much congestion blocks that. Polito's got the puck in the defensive end. Looking for space inside the D zone. The Wings have it now. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Kalamazoo's got a hold of the puck. Moves it to McDonald. The Wings take it along the wall. Oh, it comes up with nothing on the play. Coaches often measure scoring chances, and he does a real good job to get to that spot, but he will be disappointed. Wait a second, James. I believe there's going to be a call right there. An infraction happens. We got a stoppage. Let's get the call. Well, everyone has a job in the world to do, and guess what? It's about PK execution right now. They have the one goal lead. Now they're protecting it. Toledo setting their power play unit out for the first time tonight. Power plays are a funny thing, especially when you're down by one, James. You have to act as if you are the hunter, and you have to possess that puck and attack. Taken by Santasso. Side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. The Wings win the draw here in their own end. Puck cleared from the defensive end. Toledo's got it in their own zone. From behind his own cage, he grabs the puck. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Moves the pass in front, and it's blocked. 
Toledo's got a hold of the puck now. Quick pass to Sajan. Power play has expired. Well, when you have the player advantage and you're down by a goal, you have to generate some momentum. And the first stop is putting it in the back of the net. And now they're back at even strength, trying to get back on the board. Here he is in front. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Well past the midway mark of this period, we've got a 1-0 hockey game thus far. Toledo's got it in the offensive zone. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Hawkins. Works it across to Sorensen. Regroups with the puck back inside the D zone. Kalamazoo's moving it along the wing. Grabbed along the board by Sorensen. Handles the puck at the point. Gets a glove on it to make the save. And both centers glide into the dot as a face-off set to resume. Toledo's taking possession in their own end. Here they come. The Wings gain possession along the wall. Looking to set up offensively. The Walleye have taken over in the neutral zone. Across the line from center. Battling for it along the boards. McCourt's got the puck in his own zone. Here we go, on man rush. Comes up with the steal. Moves it to Walters. And he slides it quickly to Adams. And he hangs on to the puck. McCourt's been brought down, and we're going to get a penalty here. Let's see what the official makes for the final decision. Well, this is a critical juncture of the game. You've got the one goal lead, and now you take a penalty. The PK unit has to be the task to kill this off. Toledo's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. Well, James, if they can work that puck up high, and you're quarterbacking that power play, you can have eyes on either side. You can see the lanes in net, you can drive the puck, or you can pass for a one-timer off the side. And that got caught up in traffic and goes off the stick. Penalty coming up. Kalamazoo's across the blue line. Whistle blows, stopping the play. Tough spot to be in. You need momentum, and you give it back by going on the PK when you're trailing by one. Well, things should open up for both sides here with a little four-on-four -four action. Four-on-four four can be pretty confusing when it comes to coverage. You know that your defense have the forwards, but the forwards have to be able to contain the D as well. So it's complete defense out there. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. The Walleye have the puck in their own end. Solid check to slow them down. Carries it across the line. Back to the blue line. dialed-in goaltender, very aware, knows where the shooter is in that low slot, and makes the save. Under siege, and finally grabs that one and covers up for a whistle. Sajans ready to take the draw here on this power play. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. Moves it quickly over to Sacha. Both sides are evened up as the power play has expired. Less than a minute to go here in the opening frame. Center and feed! He scores! What a goal! Well, there's not much time here before the goaltender's eyes are taken away, James, and he drops into that butterfly position. All you want to do when you can't see the puck is make yourself as big as possible, but this one has seeing eyes through traffic and finds the back of the net. Getting into the later stages of this period, Kalamazoo's got a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it.
comes in off the wing as both centers were tied up on the draw. That knocks it off the puck. Kalamazoo's got a hold of it along the wall and sends it just out of reach. And that pass goes off a stick. A lot of people excited as this opening period comes to an end. One of the all-time great rock acts from the 80s getting set to play here for these fans. And we'll catch our breath. Back with more in a moment. When the home team wins, you win $10 off at Rob's. When the home team wins, you Clean sheet of ice, period two is set to go. Here we go, middle frame now underway as the puck drops. Dumps the puck in. Quick pass over to Pilon. Toledo's got it in their own zone. And the puck's booted away. The Walleye have gained possession off the wall. Sintasso's got it along the wing. Denied by the goaltender. Lemieux's going to elect to just hang on for a whistle. Well, he hasn't been busy, James, and I like that he landed on this when he's physically engaging, keeping himself in it. Lots of time left in this period. Kalamazoo's got some breathing room as they lead it 2-0. Puck scooped up by Redekop. The Wings will play it from the defensive zone. Here's a short pass to Taylor. Reaches out and uses the stick. In front and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. Puck possession so critical. Another faceoff coming up here. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Comes up with the stop. Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. Morrison's won the faceoff, and now let's see what they can do. And that's blocked in traffic. Dishes it to Barolvo. Toledo's looking to break out. Quick feed to Sintazzo. Gets it over to Morrison. That's a good heads up play at center ice. The Wings have it now. Down the right side and into the zone. Moves it to Taylor. Up to the scores! And the rookie gets his first playoff goal. Well, it's so important to manage the expectation and the nerves when you're a rookie, and that goal is going to do nothing but give him confidence. Oh, he burns the goaltender on that one. Picks up the rebound and buries it home. Boy, he looks frustrated now. James knows that you got to redirect that puck to a safe spot. The Wings have officially entered route country right now, Cheryl. Uh, well, I'll tell you, good defense creates offense, and that's exactly what they've done throughout this game. And they've had a ton of shots on net. Now a quick pass to Baraldo. Nothing doing. The Wings get a hold of the puck along the boards. Kalamazoo's got it in their own zone. Takes the shot. Makes the save from there. Barely with that one. Toledo's in transition. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Stopped by the goaltender. Lemieux had a quiet night, James. He's been watching most of the game from the other end because of the offensive nature of his team tonight. But man, does he make a nice save there. And that's showing that he's emotionally engaged. He's staying prepared, even though he hasn't been busy. McCourt's been whacked on the play. The official's arm is up in the air. Quick pass to McGrath. And let's see what the definitive call is on the ice. McDonald's getting called for slashing.
receives the pass. The wings get a hold of the puck under man. Scrum ensues along the boards. Moves the puck across to Morgan. And the man advantage fails to pay off as both teams are back at even strength. Now oh, that power play really wasn't effective at all, James. And Coach won't be happy. A lot of possession time, but it's correlated to nothing. You have to create some motion and be quick to be able to open up seams and lanes to the net. The Wings will play it in their own end. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. From the top of the offensive zone here. The Wings look to start the transition game. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. Getting a little too physical to maintain possession. Taken along the wall by Morrison. And he takes the feed. Kalamazoo's got it along the wall. And he passes it up ahead to Taylor. Trace in front! Hitner's gonna hang on for a whistle. Past the midway mark of the frame. Three nothing is the score. The Wings take possession here inside the offensive zone. Great forecheck by Sorensen. And makes the save. Ferraldo's lugging the puck. Looks to make the play over to Keenan. And it's a quick pass to Trapavesis. Kalamazoo's got control of it now from their own end. Here they come up along the wing. Tender boy, right between the eyes. Well, no smelling salts needed here. He's shaking it off as he takes one in the cage. He made the save, so that's gonna make him pretty happy. Comes up with the stop. The wings move the puck in the defensive zone. Right through, center it into the offensive zone. Moves the puck. How did he stop that one? Colton has spent so much time doing tracking exercises, and it's utilized right here as he knows where this puck is coming from, and he makes the save. And to the middle of the neutral zone. Oh, they telegraph the pass, and he picks it off. Slick feed. Kalamazoo's got the puck. Redekop's got it in the defensive end. The Walleye have taken possession in their own end. Gaining momentum along the wing. Puck dumped in and they'll get a fresh group of forwards. Kalamazoo's got it in their own zone. And that's picked off the neutral zone by Hawkins. Takes a shot. What an opportunity and it just climbed over the net there. I thought it was in. Well, I thought it was in as well, James. Now he is all around the puck doing all of the details and habits right. He's going to cash in at some point. Pilo's carrying it ahead. Sends it quickly to Morgan. Slides the puck over. And they continue to fight for that puck along the wall. Toledo's got the puck along the boards. Tosses it on to Pilo. Across the line along the left wall. Laporte's hauled down. Penalty on the way. And there's the whistle stopping the play. The Wings are going to be shorthanded, tripping the call. Another scoring opportunity looms here. Kalamazoo's won the defensive zone drop. Toledo's gained possession along the boards. Tripped up on the play, delayed penalty coming up. Here comes the official's call. Well, the refs are calling a really tight game, and man, this has been a parade to the penalty box, and the entire bench looks agitated, and as a result, they keep taking more. Well, there you go. We played 40 minutes. 
final chance for the coaches to push their messages home, and we'll see the third period coming up in just a matter of moments. Hey, fans, now is the time to pick up your team calendars. You can pick them up at Kiosk 144 on the lower level. And they are ready to drop the puck on period number three. Toledo's won the opening face-off, and their power play continues. Takes the puck. Here's a short pass to Barovo. Made the save on the play. When that shot came quick, and it was right out front, he had to be sharp. He had to be right on it and show his brilliant reflexes. Play whistle dead. Penalty coming up. Redekop's been nabbed for tripping. Toledo's ready to go to work with a two-man advantage. On a five-on-three, sometimes the puck movement along the outside is too slow. You have to have perfect timing with that. It can be too fast as well. If you're going to work the puck from high to low, look cross crease. That back door might be wide open. Lemieux's got it, and I think there's a little strategy involved as he opts for the whistle. Well, yeah, I think he needs a rest, but it's also about game management. Listen, the only reason why they're winning this game is because he has been electric and dynamic between the pipes. Toledo's won the draw. Looks like a set play to me, James. The center wins the face off quickly, and it's clean, I might add. And the one timer just buries it home. Goaltender wasn't even set. The Walleye have finally shown a sense of urgency in this third period. Yeah, it's called playing with desperation. When you know your back's up against the wall, you have to fight to get off it, and they'll have to use everything in them to claw their way back into this one. Moves the puck along the half wall. And that pass is redirected. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Stoppage in play, offside the call. Sintazzo's ready for the draw on this man advantage. Toledo's won the draw. And a smart heads up play to poke that away by Propodesis. Gets the puck over to Pilon. And that's off a stick. Lemieux's got it, and the officials blow the play dead. Well, and this is a smart play. He's been dialed in all night and recognizes that he doesn't want his team to make any mistakes. The safe play sometimes is to hold on. Sajan's gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. Puck grab by Barogo. That's blocked by Lemieux. There's the whistle. We'll get a face-off after the goalie covers up. Tazzle's at the face-off dot, ready to win this draw on the man advantage. And they'll start with possession. Centering pass! Picked off in front! We got a penalty coming up here. Power play is over, both teams back to even strength. Let's see what the officials say. The Walleye have put themselves down a man, tripping the call. The Wings send their man advantage unit out once more. They haven't scored yet in the game on the power play, but no need to get frustrated. They all bring a different skill set. It's the reason why they're out there. Trying to clear the puck from his own end. And they clear the zone, and that'll shave some time off. A great sequence by the PK unit. Really aggressive, close quickly on the puck, and they get it down the ice. Battle along the wall. Sintasel's taking it from his own end. And the defenders come up with the puck. And he'll take a moment to regroup back at center. The Wings have it against the wall. Well, if they're going to do something with this man advantage, now's the time. They don't have the luxury of time, James. They have to be urgent and get the puck up ice. The Wings can't convert to the power play. Both sides are back to even strength. Although they're still trailing, this game is now within reach with that effective kill. That gives life to the entire bench. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. 
Kalamazoo's got a 3-1 lead. Sneaks away with the puck after he was tangled up on the draw. Slides it across to Pion. Takes a spill onto the ice and loses the puck. Taylor stick handling in his own zone. Kalamazoo's lugging the puck behind their own net. Quick feed to Morrison. Dumps it in. Toledo's got a hold of the puck now. Moves it to Sanchuk. Sends a pass over. Toledo's on the attack. Poked away by Sajin. From off the wall and onto a stick. From a tough angle. Oh, and he stops that one. That was served up with a whole lot of spice. Petnar's opted to hang on to the puck for a faceoff. The centermen glide into position. Sajans won the faceoff here in the offensive zone. And he comes up with a stop there. appreciation for that huge save and man does this ever feel good you know you feel it right through you when you know you've made that big save and everyone around you is appreciative the wings get a hold of the puck in their own end just a little too much contact and couldn't hang on to the puck Kalamazoo's got it against the boards moves it to the middle oh, the iron played big in the moment there consistent over the course of his career mainly because of his positioning James he gets set to that puck square to it and makes the save McGrath's got it against the boards here's a shot and that goes off the glove and it stays out well this save is all about the compete to find the puck I mean it's a battle and you're trying to out battle your opponent you can see him bobbing up and down trying to find the puck he finds it at the last minute reacts and makes the save great read with the stick Kalamazoo's grabbed a hold of the puck. Great defensive effort breaking up the pass. Fires it! And he gets just enough of it with the glove and keeps it out. Oh, it stops again! Denies him! Just fantastic work by the goaltender making consecutive saves. How athletic. Here they are on the attack. Sends it out in front. Oh, he comes up with a stop. Takes the feed. Toledo's in now. Sends the feed in front. And that's blocked in front. Hard hit frees up the puck. Grabs the puck at center. Both sides digging in for that puck along the wall. Kalamazoo's ahead in this game because of their second line. I've been really impressed with their performance tonight, James. When you look at the trio, you have to look at the physical engagement, the way they're distributing the puck, and hey, the finish that goes hand-in-hand hand with it. Just here in the late stages of this frame, Kalamazoo's got a 3-1 lead as they have dominated for the most part in this. Toledo's won the draw, and they'll go to work. <laughs> Throws it on goal. Gets a piece of it with the glove. There's the whistle as the puck stopper likes to hang on. Toledo's been leading in the shot department most of the night, but they continue to trail here late in the third. Can they take advantage after winning that draw? Made the stop on the play. There's a chance. Oh, make this save on the play. What an incredible save. No idea how he got to that one, James, and the shooter is absolutely stunned. What a stop. The goaltender, they have to have talent, they have to have mobility, and they have to be able to track the puck, but they have to have a willingness to find it and fight for any second shot, and that's exactly what happens here. Out battling, out willing, and you make the save. Teams are ready for the draw. The line's been about to drop the puck. Slides in off the wing after the centerman tied him up. Lemieux's going to give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. 
this is a face-off. They'll definitely want to win here inside the offensive zone. And they take possession here in the offensive zone in time to go on the attack. Too much congestion blocks the shot. Morgan's moving the puck to his own zone. On the attack along the boards. There he is for the slam. Scores! And look at that. The rookie gets hit on the playoff score. Well, talk about embracing the nervous energy. Now he can take a breath, feel good about himself, and let the creativity flow. I hear coaches preaching all the time, take away the eyes of the goaltender. What does that mean? It means you get yourself in front of that net, whether it's a double stack, a double screen, whatever you can do so that the goaltender can't find the puck. And he couldn't as he drops to that butterfly. He tries to make himself as big as possible, but he can't catch up to the puck. In the final moments of this period, Kalamazoo's been showing relentless pressure lately, now up by three. Passes it to Sacha. Toledo's going on the attack as they gain the zone. Picked up along the wall by Sanja. Oh, what a save in front! Scores! And that's his first goal of a postseason ever. And he'll take it. It's much needed, too, James. You get to the playoffs, you want to make sure that your teammates have trust in you and you have trust in yourself because you want to be an impact player. That's a nice start. Got one back, and they've made it a two-goal game now. Well, the puck moves quicker than them. They're going to have to transition very quickly and look to counter and get some opportunities on net. Puck picked up by Pilon. Extra skater. There's a chance in front. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Goaltender has made his way to the bench. The extra attacker's out. They need a goal here big time. Sends it into the offensive zone. Toledo's got the puck in the defensive end. Looking to set up offensively. Quick shot! And that's deflected off someone in front. Sends the pass over. Takes the feed. There's the horn, and that's the hockey game. Look, a series is not won or lost with the opening game, but Cheryl, I'd much rather have that win. Yeah, everyone would, wouldn't they? I mean, it's such a long season. You play it, but then when you get to the playoffs, you know, there's a different set of nerves. There's energy. You know, you're in a series that's do or die, and you got to figure out a way to get on top. To get that first game under your belt just settles everyone in, and you've got the leg up now on your opponent. Real nice start. From all of us here at EA Sports, I'm James Sabolski. Thanks so much for joining us here this evening. The playoffs roll on, and we will see you then next time.